started teaching legal writing. I, I was working on a huge power plant litigation out in California and I, I had moved out there for the case and I had an opportunity to start teaching. And as I walked into the law school classroom as a professor for the first time, again, I was scared, even though I had binders and notes and class preparation and class yeah. plan, PowerPoints, and all this stuff. You were very prepared, I'm sure. I very, <laughs> as I went through all my litigation work, I mean, every yeah. deposition, every trial, et cetera. But when I walked into the classroom, where I had my giant epiphany about all this was over that first year of teaching, I noticed in teaching legal writing that my brightest legal writing students, my most deep, my deepest thinkers, most thoughtful problem solvers, collaborative team players were my quiet students mm -hmm. and the ones that didn't have their hands in the air during class. In fact, they would confide in me like I had to some people that they were nervous about being cold called in a law classroom or taking their first mock, doing their first mock negotiation or going on interviews. So what I realized that year was that we have got to start talking about this in the legal profession, but I needed to figure out myself first because sure. I can't you know there's a problem, right? Right. Yeah. You know, there's a problem, you know, the way we've been either glossing over the problem or telling people how to fix the problem is not working. Yeah. And yeah. there has to be a different way. So I knew I needed to figure out myself and stop the whole faking it thing. And so that's when I did a deep dive into research, scientific research on what is introversion? What's the difference between introversion and extroversion? What are the gifts that all personalities bring to the legal profession? Let's debunk this myth or this stereotype that we all have to be loud and strong and tough all the time. And then also I had to really dive into a different layer of the shyness and social anxiety. I, I had, I forgot, I left this part out. I had this really robust blushing response. So in law school, every deposition, every courtroom appearance, every time I got nervous, my face would turn bright red. And, and that was just a whole other layer of, of anxiety that, cause people could see it. And, and I had to get a grip on that and understand why that was happening and, and work through the physicality.